Whoa. Oh, this looks really weird. Oh, oh no, I hate that. Hey everyone, it's me, your boy. Uh, you might be wondering what I'm doing at the top of the episode. You might also be wondering, why is this episode so short? That's because, uh, despite this episode being fully canonical, it's uh, the first few rounds of combat between the Storm Chasers and the newly announced uh, Dominators, uh, we had a power cut slightly later into the episode. It's a few rounds of the first combat, so it's totally canonical. Please watch it. It's very, very good, very, very fun. But there was a power cut at Trot's house and he runs the stream, so unfortunately the stream ends there. So if it's a little bit anticlimactic, sorry, uh, but again, please watch the combat. Maybe save this episode for next week and you can have a big four hour episode. Wouldn't that be amazing? Uh, so just a warning, might end a little bit abruptly. Sorry. Sorry. Hello once again, dear friends, and welcome to another episode of High Rollers d and I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and joining me this week is our usual players. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Nice quick, I'm keeping it snappy. We've got snappy. exciting stuff to talk about. We've got fights to be doing. It's hot. Loads of stuff's happening. There's football. There's gaming announcements. All news happening all the time. It's coming home, Avatar. apparently. No Avatar one up is back. Uh, James Cameron, he's back. He's back in, but it's games now. I don't know. Uh, welcome Why? to High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we have Rhiannon. We have Tom. Hello. We have Katie. We have Trot. We have Kim. Uh, it's very hot and sunny here in England for a change, which is quite nice. Um, but we're inside. We're going to play some Dungeons and Dragons. But before we play, Chris Trot's going to tell you all about our returning wonderful sponsor. We love them. We cherish them. They've been with us since the start, always and forever in my heart. D and D Beyond. Thanks, D and D Beyond. You're always in my heart. The world beyond the witch light. I don't know. <laughs> just <laughs> literally repeated what I said. Wow. <laughs> what a killer, killer segue. segue. I can't wait to ask for shit. Uh, the world no. beyond the witch light is D&D's next big storyline, adventure storyline, that brings the wicked whimsy of the Feywild to the 5th edition what? for the first what? time. Tune in to D&D Live 2021, presented by G4 on July 16th and 17th to learn more about it. However, if you pre-order The Wild Beyond the Witchlight now so on D&D really Beyond, Beyond, you get yeah. exclusive character sheet customizations and Feywild-inspired digital dice. That's right, and available Whoa. when the book launches. Uh, also, uh, they've also got some really good articles on the Feywild, such as Feywild 101, to give you a little sneak peek, get you up to date on all the factions and the things going on there, maybe some of the important mm. NPCs uh, that are happening. So go on to dndbeyond.com uh, and see if you enjoy the Feywild, because it's coming, regardless. Mm. Get That's one thing we've not done a, a lot with the Feywild, is it, in High Rolls? Mm. We've not done a lot of Feywild mm. stuff. Uh, we did a little bit in Lightfall. Yeah. I was going to say, there yeah, was a little Lightfall bit in Lightfall, I think. Um, the Crown. Oh, wait, was there Feywild? Yeah, crown. Was... yeah the Tall like, Man yeah, came there was in a little in, bit. Uh, yeah. 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 Remember? Was. Remember Tall Man? Was. Remember and Perry? Anyone remember Perry? That's how we got Juto back. We had to yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, no, because uh, yeah. I was getting confused when you guys went to um, the other plane that, that Cam loved. Yeah, where uh, Arboria. Yeah, yeah. where um, uh, Masa yeah, Guanyin. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, nice. All right. Well, perfect. Well, yeah, Fey Wild, super cool. Um, big part of D and D. It's actually one of my favorite bits. Uh, I just haven't managed to get into a campaign yet. So go and check out uh, the cool uh, new adventure. And yeah. there's also, I think they've also hinted that there's a um, new magic tie-in with a Strixhaven campaign Strixhaven, thing yes. coming out as well. So mm -hmm. that will keep an eye out for that as well. Lots going uh, but on. But thank you. D and D Beyond. We will be using D and D Beyond. We use the character builder. Uh, we'll be using the combat tracker and the dice roller, uh, which makes playing online super easy. So the counter yeah. builder is getting some cool updates soon too. Um, mm -hmm. There's a dev video on the website for more info. Fantastic. D and D Beyond. Uh, make sure you check out the link. It's in chat and it will be in the video description as well and podcast description maybe. Uh, if you use that link and go and create an account or you buy a book or you, you you subscribe or whatever after clicking that link, it does help support us. Please do make sure you click that link and use it. Uh, it's a big way to support us without you having to spend, well, you have to spend a little bit of money potentially, but it's a good way to support us anyway. Go and do that. Speaking yeah. of spending money to support us, who boy. Today, uh, just mm. an hour before the stream, we launched a ton of new merch, uh, which is over available on freshmerch.co. Uh, can you give me your best um, voice line from the Quill video, please, Tom? Available at freshmerch.co.com. 
thanks thanks uh that you one. can go and check it's out uh, a though, whole load of stuff no it's not. Uh, <laughs> the quill plush which you can see on screen now is sold out in the us um we still have a few more it seems in the eu store um but they are going to go pretty quick because there's limited number so they if were you released one, an hour ago so if you uh yeah. if you're sleeping on it wake up sheeple yeah Way and we also have a uh, limited number is also our Cam Buckland pin and a Laura pin. There is a limited number. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're a fan of Lightfall um, and you want to see more Lightfall stuff uh, like merch and things like that, make sure you grab those pins as well. And then the Starbane coffee mug, which isn't limited number. We'll keep making these. These are like a print on demand thing. Um, you can grab this one as well. This one's a fun little one. Throw your coffee in. Um, sexy evil Starbane style. Yeah. What? How, what's the sexy evil Starbane style of making coffee? Whatever it's you want it to be, Tom. Nice, nice mug. Nude. That's it. I, it I like, nude. I like yeah. my <laughs> sexy emperors like I like yeah. my coffee. Tall, dark, and in a mug. Can <laughs> 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 hmm. so I get Abby like to the update the store description yeah. to include that? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm sure Kim, Kim appreciated my idea as a <laughs> reference, I'm sure. Um, yes, I did. I did. And thanks. I am thinking about what it would look like now as well. But yeah. I, I, carry on. Just carry on. already too hot in this I'm room. Mute myself. I think we're all going to get a bit loopy. Uh, the last thing before we jump into the recap and the game is we talked a bit about it last week, but we did our Biomutant one shot, which was in sponsorship with THQ Nordic. For Biomutant, we all got dressed up. There was a big cool set we played in the studio. We had a super awesome set uh, built uh, for us by Mikey of Fourth Floor. Um, that VOD is now available on the YouTube. Um, and again, these are the kind of things where if you want to support us, but you can't spend any money or you, you, know, you, you, you want to do other things, watching things like sponsored content is a huge help like that gives us like really strong numbers to go to other companies and say hey we can do this thing and, and that's a great way for us to continue growing as a business and you guys get to support it and get more fun content like the buy mutant one shot as well look at that yeah. terrifying nightmare that you could go and watch right now as well as rhiannon's gross awesome. drink right in my shop there <laughs> <laughs> yes. it adds to she it. was on brand really <laughs> it was Hell very yeah. we were all on brand we all looked uh, like the loveliest most adorable furry mutants uh, uh, you can imagine. The weirdest yeah. brand that you didn't know you Bruh. needed. Yep. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, very much. Very much so. Um, yeah, so go and check out Buy Mutant One Shot. Uh, there'll be another part to that coming soon, I guess. Yes. Should be. Thanks, Tom. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, it's Tim. Not me done. Um, it's Tim. <laughs> just have a look at Twitter. We'll tell you when we upload them. That's the yeah, easiest thing to do. Schedule it. Better. I didn't schedule it. <laughs> Subscribe to YouTube, uh, subscribe to High Rolls D&D on YouTube, and then it will just appear in your sub feed and click the little bell for the notifications and everything. Do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Go ahead. Enough corporate shilling. Let's play some Dungeons and Dragons. Starting with a little recap. Welcome back, Helium. Fuck. You ruined that for yourself. Yeah, that was your own fault. That is yeah. your own fault, and you have to deal with it now. I know. Last time on Arois, after a desperate rescue attempt, our party have brought Valor, a young girl with divine gifts, back to Horizon on Arois. Accompanied by Maximilian Taldros, a knight of Gideon and Valor's sworn protector, as well as Tassadar, one of the three members of the Eterna Triumvirate, a being of pure magical energy. Valor's return is a deeply heartfelt one. And amidst the happy moments, she reveals much information, as does Tassadar. From Callus's past to the fate of Tiangong and Aleha, the other members of the Triumvirate, and much, much more. 
The party take Valor to the Halls of Infinite Resplendence and the body of Siaska, the true goddess of Erois. Here, something happens between Valor and Siaska's recovering spirit, and Valor gains insight into the Titans of Erois. Four of them have been driven mad by the waning power and Kallus's impending invasion. Each will need to be dealt with, but hide within their own demiplanes that cannot be accessed by mortal means. Yeah, they do! Valor believes she can breach these demiplanes with her own divine powers, but will need time to determine this. As Horizon prepares to move, Sentry is informed of a group of guardians searching for her in the city. Investigating at night, the party intercept the guardians, who reveal themselves to be corrupted by Hadar, and now refer to themselves as Dominators. Blades are drawn, and we will be beginning this episode of High Rollers in combat. Uh, Whoa. So, oh. uh, we do have a battle map. Uh, for those of you who are watching, podcast Rocker. listeners, we will try and narrate everything as we go. Um, Hell yeah. You should all be able to see everything um, and determine everything. Uh, let me know if you cannot. Um, Looks good to me. To set the scene once again, this is a dark, uh, empty street on horizon in the mid kind of tier, the mid section of the city. Um, it's fairly well lit by these uh, kind of like street lights with glowing flaming orbs, these golden orbs that illuminate kind of like bright flame um, that kind of line the city. But there are sort of dark alleyways, um, shadows lurking in the corners and things like that. You can see that some of these homes um, do appear to have signs of life inside them. There are people sort of shuffling around and things like that. Um, but the three figures in front of you, uh, one of which is semi-cloaked in shadow, lurking near the corner of a building, and then the other two, which are more directly in front of Sentry um, and Quill, uh, both stand at the ready. There are three of them. Uh, one of them is uh, much more heavily armored and carries a great giant uh, great sword. Uh, one of them appears to be a little bit more lithe. All of them have this skeleton little construct appearance all of the living elements of their previous guardian forms all the wood all the vines have vanished rotted away or been destroyed and instead replaced by these kind of tendrils of red substance that now kind of fill them up giving them a very skeletal appearance uh, and red glowing eyes and red glowing pieces and bits and things like that. Uh, the one next to the more armored greatsword wielder appears to be much more lithe, um, has like long claws for hands, um, and is looking around with uh, very intelligent looking eyes. And then the one lurking in the shadows you can see has these um, like long arm blades, these kind of blades sticking out the tops of their gauntlets um, and is lurking nearby. Uh, and there is definitely uh, no room for negotiations or diplomacy here as they are going to leap into combat. Uh, Nova, I believe you had casted Invisibility, uh, so we currently have Lucius, Ayla, Nova as Invisible. Um, that is where we're going to begin. And it begins with those wonderful words that everybody in D&D loves to hear. Roll They're all dead. Oh. oh. No. That's TBK. <laughs> Honestly, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be nice. Uh, for once... You guys oh. don't have a million NPCs with you, so I don't have to it's worry crazy. about yeah, right. just loads us. of other it's NPCs. Old just school. Us. Yep, old school. It's so retro. So, Lucius. I got a 13. 13. Also, I need to bring up the D&D Beyond game log. Nice. I'm using game it right log. now on screen. Are you Chris Trot? I yes. will need to get it up separately so I can see all your awesome rolls in the dice rolling game log that I can see right now. On DMD, uh, I beyond. didn't have it, right. but it was so quick to get it. <laughs> Kila Kad Kala. I Initial rolled a code. 16. 16. Uh, Ayla. 20. 20. Nice. Sentry. 15. In? 80 boys. Nova. Mm. Uh, 19. Whoa! 19. <laughs> 20 nice. thousand. <laughs> 20 thousand well Ayla uh, in true kind of fashion kicking things off uh, normally this is the normal go to um, yeah you are the first to react you can see them drawing weapons getting themselves ready um, yeah this is this is not a time for talking uh, they are very oh. intent on focused on uh, sentry by the way um, you can see cool. all three of them are staring directly at sentry um you're not sure if they're aware of you or not you do you are invisible um but you don't know if you are detected or not yet sneak attack okay well 
I would like to rock up to this guy, uh, okay. rage, and hit him twice. Okay, so first things first, uh, you, this creature seems to know that you are there. So even though you are visibly invisible, um, it still seems to react visibly as if it is aware invisible. of your presence. Yeah, visibly yeah. invisible. Um, the other thing is as you get close to this creature, Ayla, um, you feel this intense like weight of the world around you. Um, you feel like your your legs, you know, you're really straining to move. Uh, while you are within five feet of this creature, your speed is reduced by 20 feet. Okay. Just speed, nothing else. Just speed, for now. <laughs> okay, gonna hit. Well, sure. try and hit. Uh, that will be... Um, 22 to hit. 22 will hit. A hammer comes uh, crashing down. Um, rolled a bit trash on my dice, though. 14 damage on the first one. 14 points of damage. Still 14. And it comes crashing down. It does kind of raise its claws to block, and then as you become visible, as the invisibility breaks, um, it's kind of trying to protect itself as best as it can. And um, 23 to hit on the second one. Yep, both hit. Uh, you can see that, like Wait, like most yeah. guardians, it's made, it has like these metal and stone components, but it doesn't seem to be wearing any additional armor or plating, unlike the big one in the middle, which definitely has additional sort of like plating all over it and things like that. Uh, 19 damage on the second one and a dex save damage. plus and a dex saving throw absolutely uh, oh okay yep 10 so it takes full damage so it tries okay. to leap out the way so, love seeing oh, it 10 20 lightning damage I rolled two fives and a six, and then plus my con oh. because of my belt. These two hammer blows come smashing down, and then this charge of lightning just sort of erupts out uh, from it. Um, yeah, kind of it completely erupts out of this creature uh, as it does so, cascading over its body. You can see it kind of wince and react uh, as it does so. Um, anything else cool. on your turn? Uh, that's everything I can do, I believe. I'm done. Okay, at the end of your turn, Ayla, uh, the one in the middle, this armored one, uh, is going to turn around and it shouts out a command just like, Ah, the barbarian! We've been warned about this one! Attack it, adept! Uh, and the one that you've just moved up to is going to make a free attack against you with advantage. Uh, it's going to use its weakening claw. So, with weakening advantage. Uh, That's a 24 to hit. Yup. Okay, so as it slashes across you, you're going to take 15 points of slashing damage, um, and then... Reduced to half? For oh, yeah, so 15 reduced to half would be uh, seven, seven um, and then you take 14 necrotic damage, which won't be halved, and you have disadvantage on saving throws until the adept's next turn. Ooh. Uh, that is at the end of your turn. That was a legendary action, so we go to Nova. Hello, it's me. Hello. I would like to um, bonus action hexblade curse um, the main metal uh, man with the with the, yep, plates, the one in the middle, the fancy stuff. Yeah, um, they're all made of metal and plates and stuff. This one's just heavily armored. The, uh, the heavily armored one, uh, mm -hmm. and then I would like to cast slow on all three of them, which is a forty foot cube. Um, mm -hmm. So I can reach um, all of them without hitting Ayla. Yeah, if you um, position it a little so bit back. So please, yeah. yeah, can you sure. make me a Wisdom saving throw, DC 18. Um, and wisdom saving throw, DC 18. Uh, okay, yep, I'm just checking to see which ones have... Uh, so the one kind of in the shadows uh, does manage to succeed um, with a natural 20 and does uh, resist the attack. Uh, let's check the commander. Uh does not have magic resistance, but I can use it. It's indomitable. Um, mm, you know what? I don't mind if this guy's slowed, so I'm just going to leave that effect on it. So the middle one does seem to slow down uh, as it does so. Um, and then the one that Ayla is currently engaged in, this one does have magical resistance. We will get advantage on the saving throw. Uh, I mean, that's oh a 27. God. Yeah, 
So, yeah, so the one in the middle does slow down. You see his movements, like, slowing down. But the other two manage to resist the effects of the spell as this um, energy from Tiangong kind of pulses over the three of them. Okay, so um, just uh, as a point of reference, their speed is halved, um, Mm -hmm. their AC is minus two, their Mm deck saves are minus two, and they can only do an action or a bonus action. They can't do both. There's some stuff for magic spells as well, but I'll only read that out. Yeah, I think um, because slow as well, they can only make one attack. If they can make multiple attacks, they can only make one attack. Yeah. 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 Nice. Um, Uh, That's the bigger one. You can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each each turn. turn. Uh, End of each turn. Yeah. Perfect. Anything else, um, Nova? And then I'm just, I'm just going to move a little bit. Um, yeah. So I that will pop you out of the invisibility move. as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to move uh, a little bit back. Um, yeah. Okay. Carry on. That's me. I'm done. Bye. Bye. Okay. Keelik, add Kalar. Uh I am going to open this up with a beacon of hope, uh, hitting everyone on our side, obviously. <clears throat> and I think that is pretty much it. Um, I haven't got any big bonus actions I can do, so I'll just sit next to Sentry and yeah, do that. So advantage on whiz saves for everyone and uh, death saving throws and maximum healing for all. Nice. nice. Okay. Nice. Cool. Uh, you see the lithe-looking um, dominator with these two arm blades kind of runs along the wall of this building, um, and it's going to kind of position itself. It kind of runs and then lands on the ground, hunched. And as it does, you see all these vents, like sections of metal plates, open up, and this thick, roiling green fog kind of envelops out from it. I know uh, Trot, Kim, and uh, Tom, yeah, if you remember Viper from uh, from Valorant, that kind of Heck fog yeah. engulfing around her. Okay. The whole okay. area um, becomes heavily obscured um, as this kind of green fog. I'm just going to put this here and tint it. Um, well, not, not a small area then. Uh, no, it's, it's quite wide around uh, the, the creature. Uh, this like engulfing fog erupts around. Uh, and I need you all to... Uh, this is on the Stalker. Uh, this is a constitution saving throw, please. Each creature oh. in the area. Uh, so do I get a bonus from Sentry as well? Uh, anybody who's within 10 feet of Sentry will, yeah. yes, I believe. Yeah, you will. What's the bonus equal to, Re? It is a plus three. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh. 14. Uh, 14 13. for Lucius. Uh, 13 for Quill, Sentry. Yeah. Let's see. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. 22. 22. Right. Uh, Sentry, you're going to take half damage. Do you have poison resistance? I think you do, do. don't you? Yeah. So you're going to take I a do. quarter of this. Oh, you do as well, Quill. So half Why damage have an for armor? Quill. Uh, quarter hey. damage for Sentry. <laughs> full damage for Lucius. Um, okay. So 43 points of poison oh. damage to Lucius. Oh. Uh, and okay. 21 points to Quill. And then half to so 21 so 10 points to century 10 points of poison damage as this kind of just cloud and it completely obscures the area so nova and ayla when you look around it's just a big sphere of green fog basically you can't see anybody inside it um, uh, i got a 12 on my concentration do i still have beacon of hope uh what did you get sorry 12 12 yes and i took 21 points of damage so the DC would be uh, 10 or half the damage dealt, so the DC was 10. So yes, you do, okay, you do cool. pass on it. Um, Sweet. Nah. Nice. I just realized I kind of need to see everybody. Uh, there we go. Um, so yeah, you guys uh, can see who's in there now, um, but I'm just doing this so that I can... But it is obscured. Yeah. Hey, that guy sucks. Are considered blinded when in there? Yes, you are considered blinded. Um, whilst you are in the area. I'm just tweaking okay. some stuff here. Uh, cool. Um, so that's that's its turn. Uh, that's its full turn. Uh, it does that, because <laughs> that's its whole thing. Uh, as it does that, sentry. Okie dokie. I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on myself as a bonus action, give myself okay. plus 280, and then I'm going to move up to this Dominator right here in the middle mm-hmm. with the shield and stuff, and I'm going to do the old one-two smack a root. See if we play. Okay. 
so that is 17 for the first one. Uh, he has minus two AC, doesn't he, from uh, Slow Kim? Yes. Okay, uh, that nearly hits. Uh, you can mm. see that the slow, uh, he's very slow to react and that blow nearly connects, but he does just manage to deflect it away. Cool beans. Let's go again. Even worse, 12. <laughs> These two blows just kind of resounding off uh, the armor. As it, even though it's slowed, it's managing to just kind of time its attacks and parries um, or use just its enormous sort of bulk to uh, defend against you. Um, and you hear it just sort of like, your efforts are useless, Sentinel Prime. We will claim the Prime Matrix for Overlord Veracitor. Uh, as, as as you go about these things, uh, as anything else on your turn, Sentry. I think that's I think that's it. Yeah, I'm just going to stay, okay. try and post some kind of guard between him and the rest of the party. Sure. For now. Uh, you will hear him call out uh, to the fog. Uh, you will hear him call out, uh, Stalker, attack! Uh, and inside the cloud, uh, the figure is going to make, uh, the one that it moved up is going to make a weapon attack um, with advantage. Against who? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I can't see where he is. Exactly. Uh, it's actually going to be against Quill. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, hey, how many times does it look like this guy is attacking me? <laughs> uh, well, that was with advantage. Um, so he hit you once. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll take it. Okay. You're going to take... Uh, that's going to be nine points of piercing damage, please, Quill, and then I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Constitution, 17 plus 19. 19, okay. Uh, you're going to take half this damage. Concentration, uh, keep it. So that's going to be nine points of necrotic damage, and then, yeah, concentration check. Um... Uh, oh, I got a 16 on the concentration. Concentration's still up. Sweet. Sweet. Nice. Lucius. Lucius is going to stumble, coughing and spluttering, just backing up, I guess. I think he'd be able to do until he notices mm -hmm. he's out of the cloud. Um, and sure. then from there, he's going to vitriolic sphere... Kind of about here, which will catch those two. Uh, yeah, so you is... want to try and avoid catching Sentry and Ayla, just kind of catch the other two on the back edge of it, yeah? This time, you know what? I think I'll avoid those two, yeah. Sure. Uh, so, casting that at fourth level, and it's a deck save throw from both of them, please. Or 18, the beat. Uh, deck save. One of them slowed, right? So. Uh, yes, which is disadvantage minus two or disadvantage. Kimberus. Sorry, it's um, minus two AC and minus two deck save. Minus two, so it's not disadvantage. Okay, uh, I'll do him first then. Uh, so minus two means only uh, minus two to this. Holy uh, that's moly! Still a twenty-four. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> the other one. This is a spell, really so it has slows. advantage. <laughs> so this will be half. Of both. Twenty-one. Yeah, half, half damage, damage for both. Here we go. And then some damage next turn as well. Uh, 15 then. 15 points of acid. acid damage, yes. Yes. And nine points of dichromancy to the slowed one, please. Nine points, is that? Yes, please. Bam, so you watch as like, the sphere explodes. Um, even the slow one does manage to kind of pull itself up and bring its sword up to kind of block most of the acid spraying out from it. The other one kind of leaps to the side, trying to avoid Ayla's blows at the same time. Um, but the acid still kind of splatters over their you know, frames, their metal and stone bots. You begin to hear like hissing and fizzling and things like that. Um, and then, yeah, this extra streak of orange from the dichromancy slaps the, uh, the commander in the chest. Yes. Ah, and what's the gonna... backwards? Use my bonus to burn a spell to get some sorcery points, and that's it. Sure. Okay. Yeah, it's bonus action, right? Yeah. Done. Okay. Uh, the commander. Um, at the start of the commander's turn, 
uh, you, Sentry, uh, you're going to take 10 necrotic damage and you watch as being so close to this figure, there's just this constant, almost like these tendrils of red light that as soon as you get close, they latch onto you and they almost seem to like suck some of the magical life force out of you. And you see parts of the stone and metal that at Lucius has just damaged. You see those actually beginning to heal up um, as you stand closer to this figure. Um, oh. Yeah, just sort of looks at you with a... <laughs> Yes, yes, the power of our Lord shall feast on you and strengthen me. Uh, they are slowed, so they can only make one attack this turn. They're going to make an attack against Sentry. Uh, only for an 18. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. You two just kind of like clashing blades, clanging off each other. Uh, nothing really happening. Um, and then that's another wisdom saving throw for the slow. Nope, still slowed um, as it maintains its slow. Uh, the next one to go is the one next to Ayla, who doesn't really like being that close to Ayla. Um, <laughs> trying to look here. Looking at what spells it has access to. Uh, I think that the first thing it's going to try and do is... Yeah, it's going to try and do the same thing uh, that Nova just did. Ayla, it's going to try and cast slow on you. So can you make a wisdom saving throw, please? You've got an uh, advantage. Oh, beacon of hope. Mm. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 17. 17 uh, is exactly just what you needed to pass. Um, so you Ooh. feel this like magic, like this weight that you can feel pressing down around you. It, you feel it almost intensify, trying to slow down your arms and your swings, um, but you manage to kind of force your way through it with brute strength. Um, the creature just kind of cocks its head at you and kind of looks annoyed uh, more than anything. Um, and it's just going to keep next to you, but it's going to sort of move around you, I think, to... Yeah, to here. Um, just kind of keeping keeping you within range so it's not going to provoke any opportunity attacks, um, but just trying to spread out a little bit more as well. Um, then we go to top of the round is you, Ayla. I'm going to hit him again, please. Yeah, sure. Um, that will be... I think we... 20 to hit. 20 hits, yep. Yeah, this one doesn't seem as hard to hit as the uh, the one in the middle, for sure. Uh, 19 damage. 19 points. Um, and again, that's going to be uh, 22 to hit. Yep. Uh, oh, full damage. Um, 21 on the hammer. On the hammer. And then deck saving throw. And then deck saving throw, yes, please. Okie dokie. Oh, that's much better. 24. Half damage then. Um, woo! 15, rolled three fives. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 lightning damage, halved. So half nine. <laughs> You see that within, you know, a few seconds, Ayla, this hammer swinging and smashing into this creature, along with the acid from Lucius, this thing is barely still standing. You can see it just kind of like clutching itself, you know, um, pieces of it almost threatening to break and fall fall away as it does so. Um, uh, Ayla, finished? I'm done for now. Thank you. Okay, at the <laughs> end of you. your turn... <laughs> The commander is going to Thank you to for letting me hit things. A legendary action. <laughs> um, yeah, it's going to uh, command its ally, the one that's been fighting you, to do a... Ah, uh, oh, I forgot you technically had disadvantage on your saving throw, your wisdom saving throw, to, uh, when it hit you last oh, time. Oh, it would have been a straight roll then, and I rolled the yeah. highest roll on the first one, so oh, it would have Okay, that's, that, that's nice, that cancels out then. Um, yeah. yeah, I think the... Yeah, the commander's going to try and use a its ability to... Um, no, I think it will just command it to attack. It's going to get the adept to attack again, so it's going to attack Ayla with advantage... Uh, so 14 was the lowest or a natural 20 Jesus. Uh, I knew that was coming 
it was it's about to happen when you get advantage um so you, he kind of shouts out another order just like ah you useless fool before you are destroyed at least do something useful and it kind of reaches out with these claws once again um so this is going to oh, be uh 8 16 uh let's do this and then i'll add it uh on so that's 13 plus another 16 so that's going to be 29 yeah 29 so half of 29 would be 14 because you're raging mm -hmm. but then this is the real big one it's the necrotic damage which is going to do a ton suck. here uh 3d12 times three well 3d12 maxed is 36. Oh, plus another suck. 56 Any. points of necrotic damage and you have disadvantage oh, on 56. Right. Yeah, so it grabs your life. throat and almost like catches its claws that took into out your so throat. Much. And as it does, you feel like all this life force draining out of you um, as this red that light so seems much. to shine, driven by its fury. I mean, crit on a big, big D12 attack. Uh, you guys are high level, you can take it. Uh, but yeah, yeah uh, that's, that was legendary action Nova. So you can see, like, uh, glancing just... around, you see Ayla take this savage blow. Okay. Um, yeah, so I am going to pop out. I'm kind of currently hidden by the corner of a house. Uh, I'm going to pop out and um, blast the commander. Um, sure. So take some pot shots with Eldritch Blast. Uh, so first one is a uh 16 to hit uh 16 against the commander will not hit even with the slow kind of similar to sentry just manages to kind of deflect it away ah much better uh 25 to hit on the second that one. will hit um against the commander so that is uh four uh, hold on a minute uh where's my eldritch boss um four plus five plus five from my hexblade curse uh, so that's 14 points of damage. 14. Uh, uh, oh, I rolled a 27 uh, on my second. Nine, yep, hits. Uh, nine points plus five plus five. Uh, 19 points of damage on that 19 one. 19 points. <laughs> Both of these blasts slam into the commander, almost causing them to stagger for just a moment. Um... I can't do anything as a bonus action, uh, so I'm just going to pop back behind um, the house. Bit of cover. And sure. Hide, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Keelak and Kalar. Uh, hey, yo, it's me, your Healy boy. At seventh level, I want to cast Mass Cure Wounds. That's 46 healing to everybody. Ooh, Hell yeah. Cure. Very nice. Uh, cause yeah, Ayla took a huge hit, Lucius took a huge hit. I'm not doing too much better. Uh, and that is my nice. entire turn. Cause again, bonus action. Oh, actually, I'm getting out of this. I'm getting out of this mess. Sure. Um, I want to get out of cloud kill. You that's stumble what it out of it blind. <laughs> and, uh, head towards, uh, close to sentry. Um, for that sentry protection. Okay. Uh, at the end oh, yeah. of your turn, Quill, the commander's going to take another legendary action, this time to make a melee attack against Sentry uh, with his draining blade. Uh, that's a 28 Whoa. to hit, Sentry. Yeah, that'll hit. Draining blade? Oh, draining. I thought you said training blade. No, that's going to be 22 slashing damage. So did I. And you cannot <laughs> regain training. Uh, Sentry, you cannot regain hit points until the start of the commander's next turn. So cool. no no heals until he goes again, basically. Um, annoyingly deals. timed <laughs> from Quill's <laughs> big heal. Um, but He's still, 22 awesome. points of damage as he brings this mm. cleaving strike down. And you feel again as it bites into you that cold numbness of like sapping your life away as it does so. Um, mm. Trying to pull any sort of positive energy away as it can. Uh, the creature in the smoke smoke disappears uh, kind of like fades away kind of drifts like whoosh, engulfs away tom hazel can oh. you roll a d6 for me please let's see if that recharges was i was i next to him when i ran away uh you were i should have taken an opportunity attack would he have seen him in the smoke uh, he can see in the smoke yes ah. yeah, he has uh, blind sight it was worth checking all right get I'm do it. i missed I, I missed up hey i'm letting you do it I just want okay, you to know. Sure. I allow it. Uh, okay. Sure. Uh, and I also rolled a five. Uh, 
on the D6. He'd have advantage on the attack against you. You might regret this, Tom Hazel. Uh, All right. Uh, oh, 19 I mean, was yeah, my he's... highest. Yeah, no, he's doing it. He's hitting me. Okay. I healed first, though, so Beacon of Hope yep. would have still so done the heal. So seven piercing damage and another con save, please. Uh, con save. Oh, eight. Uh, eight, three. okay. Oh, 11. sorry. I forgot to do this last no. turn as well. Uh, no? I forgot his oh, sneak yeah. attack damage. Um, oh, so I didn't know. Seven. I, hang, let's just reevaluate what I'm allowing <laughs> And then another 13 necrotic. So that's going to be 42 points of damage total, please. Oh my god. Right, like all the healing you to take it. He he taunted me. <laughs> hey, I got I got a 17 a uh, 19, sorry, on the con save, so I'm Is that enough? So all of oh, this no, damage I did like 42, would technically right? be one attack. So this would be 43 points of damage halved would be 21 point 21 DC 21. All right. Beacon of Hope goes. Okay. So as you went I to dash it, yeah. away, this thing reached out and just in the back, just kind of stamped you through with one of these arm blades. Um, okay. Hey, just real quick. Just remember yeah. that. You know? Yeah, hey, sure. Me and you, Mark. I remember that. Me and you. Good huh? player, Tom. Good team, huh? Uh, Good team. <laughs> it's then going to continue after it stamps Quill in the back as, you know, when, when Quill made the reaction. It then runs along. It's going to kind of run up the wall and leap down basically behind Nova. It kind of... Oh, well, acrobatically like runs along the wall does a flip lands behind nova and then it's gonna th oh can you roll that d6 for me as well please tom yes i did i got a five you got a five okay five, you don't five, so five, you five. can see all these vents on the creature on this on this um dominator um and you can see that they're beginning to slowly gr glow green again but it doesn't look like they've regained its full power um that that poison ability doesn't look like it, it needs to recharge it uh so instead it's just going to make two attacks against uh little nova uh, back there um uh, first one is a nine. That does not hit. Second one is a twelve. Not too bad. That does not hit. <laughs> so Tian Gong kind of parrying you, dodging to the side as this thing lands down behind you, um, desperately trying to uh, to get an attack in. Uh, hmm, I want to take my last legendary action before. Uh, the commander goes again so the commander bellows out another order this time like stalker finish your work and it's going to try and make another attack against nova the one that just uh, crept up behind her 22 technically it had uh, advantage that... because of the command so 22 yeah that'll hit that's going to hit so this is going to be with sneak attack seven plus 26 and then can you make a con save please uh hold on a minute uh seven 26 uh and a con saving throw did you say beacon it was beacon of hope is beacon of hope done it's got no con saves beacon of hope yeah oh, okay uh i rolled 11 12 13 14 14 uh oh just one off um Aww. Uh, so that's going to be another eight points of necrotic damage. So it kind of flips behind you, and then at the order of this commander, another kind of strike comes out, kind of catches you in the side. Nothing personnel, kid. Nothing personnel, Nothing kid. Personnel. Sentry. That's all of the commander's legendary actions done. Okie dokie. Um, I'm going to... Okay, so... I'm going to say to the commander... <laughs> uh, okay. You are no longer fit for purpose. Stand down or be terminated. I'll give you some time to think, and I'll cast Banish on the commander. Okay. So my shield of faith nice. goes. Yep, okay. What saving throw am I making on this? Charisma 16. Charisma 16. Okay, <laughs> charisma's pretty good. Oh, please work. Um, and he does have a reroll ability. You can use it, an ability to reroll saving throws, but we'll see. Wait, hang on. So have, I, have we had have we had a long rest in like forever? I need to check my portals. No, you I would purposely didn't, take a, nope, oh, you did didn't. take a long rest. No, I did not take a long rest. What? With and use his indomitable to re-roll it and get a twenty total. No. Uh, <laughs> so you see, that's what he only has three uses of that re-roll ability. So that's one of them used. Um. So you see, like you give this statement, you kind of say, like I'll give you some time to think about it, and you see his form flicker for a brief moment as the light of the matrix kind of encapsulates it. I don't think so, Sentinel Prime. I do not obey the orders of lesser beings. Oh, you, oh, oh. Anything else, Sentry? 
Oh, that's it. Um, yeah, that's. I'm just gonna. Yeah, stand defiant. When he no. Nope, when he case. says that. <laughs> when he says yeah. that about lesser beings, I'll be like, Well, why the fuck are you with Breeze then? Ooh. Um, <laughs> just... Foolish creature. Uh, all right. Uh, we go to Lucius. Um, Lucius is going to chromatic orb and use those fancy new sorcery points he's got to twin it, uh, twin. hitting the commander and the one by Ayla as well. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. So ding dong level s- six. Screw it. Ding dong. Here we go. First one, top one, sixteen to hit. Is that to hit the commander? Yeah. Even slowed, it manages to kind of dodge to the side of it. Good. Doesn't connect. (laughs) Happy with that. Next one is a 19. That does hit, however. God damn. Uh, All right, 88. That is 41. 42, because there's a 1 in there. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, That's 42 damage to the other one. Always two damage points. There's a couple of things here. So the first thing is, is as uh, the first orb kind of strikes against the commander's form, it almost like cleaves the orb into deflecting it. This one, you can see this adept, this um, this this lither looking one. It's turning to Ayla, and you can see that after that heavy blow, looking injured, its its chest is beginning to open, and you can see this red light is about to kind of explode out of it, like almost like in a giant beam coming out of its chest. But the orb strikes it just as the the orb begin the chest begins to open. Like you see the orb day. connect, <laughs> and it just sort of causes oh, this explosion of of orange and red light to kind of erupt through it. It completely destroys it. This guy had six hit points left. Um, nice. As you watch, as the chromatic orb just <laughs> erupts this creature into a, a ball of uh, orangey flame, and eleven dichromancy damage. To the commander I missed. To the commander. There we go. Bam. So a little bit of acid kind of streaks off from this explosion. No, no. <laughs> she said terminate. And that's what I, I shall show you a termination. <sighs> we are legion. We are endless. One means nothing. Uh, at the start of your turn, at the start of its turn, Sentry, you see again these vi- these lines of red power are sapping the strength out of you. You're going to take 10 necrotic, and he's going to heal yep. for 10, um, as long as there is a creature uh, within five feet of him. You see these aura like lines kind of draining this life force out of you. Um, uh, he's still slowed, um, so all he's going to do is stay next to you, but he's going to take a step so that he can strike at Quill now as well. Um, and he will take a swing at Sentry. Okie dokie. Oh, I mean, you can oh see the roll. my god. Thirsty. You can see the rolls now, thanks to you D&D Beyond. Mark, your rolls tonight have been just unfair at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, like, what we're all using me? the same thing. <laughs> like, I'm using the digital one. What is one? No, I'm just saying it's one of those nights. This happens every now and then I where know. Roll Twenty just, hates us. It just aligns. I get the power like a conduit. I'm just stood here in the light of, of all dungeon masters sending me their power. It's just <laughs> like channeled into me like He-Man. <laughs> I have the power. You get a crit. Uh, <laughs> well, well Sentry, how, how much is this gonna hurt? Yeah. This is going to be Bring it on. Uh, so, I'll, so it's whatever I roll plus forty six max. So twenty plus another twenty four, mm. forty four points of damage, and you cannot Ooh. regain hit points until the start of his next turn. Good lord. Ooh. So you watch as like brings this cleaving strike and it clips into like your your faceplate, almost like sparks dragging down across it, leaving this heavy heavy blow. You're wasting uh, your energy. Added, however, is dead. So we go up to Ayla. Hello. Um, so, oh, oh, I'm all confused. Where is that other guy? Okay, since the other he's guy dead. has... No, 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 not that one. I know he's oh, dead. Oh, yes, the stalker, Did... the uh, little I ninja the other one. one. Is, is, you don't know where he is. You can't see that one at the moment. I can't see him. So I yeah, will step up to this dude and give him a, a good hit, hopefully. Sure. Please. Okay. Um, uh, 16 plus 13. That many. 29. That hits. Hit. Yep. Um, 20, 20, 14 damage. 
14 points of damage to the commander. Oh, natural 20, though. See? Look, it all comes <laughs> revenge. round. Revenge! Comes round. It's all revenge. Oh, critical. Um, so, 3d10 maxed. So, 30 plus... Yep. Just, and then roll the roll the oh, 3d10 no, no, no. plus your normal bonus. Hang on. But plus my normal bonus, it's going to end up, because I'm raging as well, so it'll be 3d10 plus 11. So that's 41. Then, then another 3D3 3d10. 10 more. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, see? Uh, what did I say? 41. 40, 40. 41. 6. The same, the 56 same 200. damage oh. to a total. 56 total damage. Lord. Wow. Nice. As he strikes this horrible blow against Sentry, like Sentry kind of reeling from the blow, blindsided, you know, slowed by Nova's spell as well, not able to quickly react, this angry, raging barbarian comes swinging in from the side, slamming him to the side with his giant hammer. Awesome. Yes. So that was my oh. two attacks then deck save. I attacked deck twice, save. didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Minus deck two to save. this. So 11. Fail. 16 lightning damage. I keep rolling fives on this today. It's very weird. 16 um, but 16 lightning damage. End of turn. That's a lot of damage. Uh, end of turn, please. Okay. Uh, he's going to use one of his legendary actions to command ally once again. Um, and just calls out, Stalker, finish your work and come assist me. Um, and the Stalker is going to make another attack against Nova this time with advantage. Beep, boop, beep. Okay. 25 to hit Nova. Oh, that will hit me. Yes. That's going to hit. Uh, so it's going to be 10 plus 21. 31. Constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> As this ninja is trying to tear Nova apart. The the ninja one barely, oh. hasn't spoken as well. It doesn't speak at all. 15. 15. Uh, that's just enough to save. So it's going to be the 31 total damage. As it slams. 31. It's just the 31. Um, it's played into you. Uh, then it's your turn, Nova. Uh, I am going to... I was going to cast a spell, but um, oh. it means I'll drop concentration on slow. But then... It will. Three of you are fighting, dude, bro. Three so... of them are fighting it, Nova. It'll be fine. thing is, is it's the double psychology am i saying that to try and make him do it or am i saying it to make her not do it because i don't want her to do what she's currently doing <laughs> and i'm like the most indecisive player in the world um i am what going cool? to cast Ooh, cool? synaptic static so tiangong Ooh, is going to start arcing in blue crackling energy Ooh. i like to think Ooh. that maybe like lucius's that hair cool. starts standing on end um, okay. And then, um, yeah, right. can you make a saving throw, uh, Intelligence 18, please? Who's making this? The one fighting you? The stalker? Uh, the stalker, yeah. Yep, Intelligence saving throw. Mm -hmm. uh, it does not get any cool re-rolls. Uh, that's a 19. Damn it, that's one over! Piss flaps. Bums. Um, half damage? Although, Psychic Day... Oh, yeah, okay, so it does take half, okay. Yeah, and it does take psychic damage. Ooh. It's not immune to it. Uh, oh, 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 I rolled four sixes in this. Um, nice. So, uh, six. That sounded very sarcastic, Troll. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Someone Wilson um, wowing. Plus wow. five, plus Loki, four, wow. plus two, plus one. Uh, that's 48 divided by two is 24. 24 um, points. Uh, 24 points of psychic damage. You watch as like the stalker kind of sh shudders for a moment as some, you know, this this energy kind of rattles off it and it, you just hear this like <laughs> uh, and it kind of stops and then it's one singular red eye just kind of <laughs> focuses on you. Excelente. Um, I and that's slow that's... is stopped now, yes? Or is that non Yeah, so slow is down. Okay. Yeah, that's on uh, Is synaptic so static a concentration spell? It is, yeah. Uh, it's not. It's not. And also, the effect. Oh, then slow would stay up. There's like a secondary. Oh, would it? Oh, 
okay. Yeah, synaptic statics. Um, it's only if you cast another concentration spell. Oh, okay. Synaptic static is not a concentration spell, so slow yeah, is still go. up on the commander. Still up. All right, good to know. Um, anything else on your turn, Nova? Today I learned. Um, Quill, no. you're uh, up next. I'm going to do I'm a legendary. I'm just going to die. All right, okay. Uh, legendary action from the commander. He's going to make a melee attack this time against Ayla um, after taking that massive, heavy, heavy blow. Uh, only gets the one. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Another Are you 20. fucking kidding me? What is not a No, we can't have this. It's <laughs> happened literally oh for like eight crits in one session. I don't know what that's so screwed up. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you know? This is brutal. Yeah, did you make any sacrifices this weekend, At least for half this, because this, this is slashing damage. Um, I mean, did I always you, make those like, sacrifices make to him. I've not, I've not done any, I've not yeah. done, done any extra sacrifices, you know? Okay. Um, All we did was click four. the link to get D&D Beyond through high rollers. <laughs> you too can roll like this, yeah. Uh, so 37, but that would be halved to 15, 18. 18. So it's only 18 points damage to Ayla, because uh, it's slashing damage. Um, however, you cannot regain hit points until the start of his next turn. Cool. I mean, that's great for a nat 20. Quill. Oh no, I'm, it's not about the amount of damage. It's it's purely it's like, this is absurd. Yeah. Like, the, Mark's uh, Light like, Knight is... What, five natural 20s in this combat? Yeah. Yeah, so far. Uh, well, hey. Just seeing 30s. Um, scary. So far, I, I've done it once before. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try and uh, copy Sentry and use her spell. Uh, I'm going to try and banish this dude. Because um, okay. he got to go. got to go. Um, yeah. So he needs to make a Charisma. 21 saving throw. 21, Ooh. okay. He does have two more uses of his reroll saving throw ability. Let's see if he needs it. He doesn't, he doesn't, but he doesn't need it. Fucking what? Fuck me! What? Another what? 20! What's happening? Seriously. What's happening? <laughs> Reload your browser. <laughs> Reload <laughs> it. Just turn off your PC. I'll, I'll, I, can refresh. Refresh. I, I can refresh, <laughs> but it's not going to do anything. It doesn't do crap. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the, the greatest foe we've ever faced. Yeah. Lucky, lucky commander Veracitor, man. He's, he's Why do you this keep is... trying these pathetic spells? You Erosians <laughs> have no chance against the Dominators. Don't <laughs> give me that. You are just getting lucky, you. <laughs> he's blessed by Hadar. I am superior. Hadar has given me its power. <laughs> if we did that oh my God. on natural dice, we'd be telling him to throw shots, away. By the way, for three in a row. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. It's happening uh, again! Yeah, well, no, uh, management subscribe doesn't do... to D&D Beyond uh, today. To get lucky like Mark. Um, Anything else? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. I don't want to run away because he'll whack me and kill me. Uh, okay. And my bonus actions... Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll use the uh, channel divinity uh, regain a third level spell slot thing. Okay, great. Um, At the end of your turn, he's going to use his last legendary action to make an attack against you, Quill. Um, can roll I, it. Can God, I protection? hope I roll another natural 20. Protection, please. Oh, disadvantage. Okay, disadvantage against Quill. Two Nine natural 20. 20s. I need to stop you. <laughs> uh, 23. Oh, 15. 15? Oh. Looks right. Uh, that still hits. <laughs> oh, because you reduced the armor, didn't you? You've, you've you know what? I'll, uh, I'll shield it. Oh, okay. Perfect. I can't, so I can't take that. Extra 5 AC. No more reactions, though, Thomas. No, nope, that's fine. That's fine. All right. Um, the Stalker. Um, Kim, roll a d6 for me, please. I want to see if its poison ability recharges. Uh, protection <laughs> did help, by the way. The shield. One. I wouldn't have been able to block the 23. One. Okay. Doesn't recharge. Um, yeah, we, it's just going to focus on its main target here, which is which is Nova, and just going to make two attacks um, against you. Um, that's it. Uh, 14. That does not hit. What is this guy? 25. <laughs> Can't hit. That, oh, does okay. hit. Okay. that does hit. That does hit. That's going to be the 12. The right side of the map is is the unlucky side of the map. Bum, 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 bum. Left yeah. side of the map is screwed. It's a total of 30 damage and then a con saving throw, please, Nova. Oh, that, uh, 12. So 30 total. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> um... Okay, and then con save is oh, it's a natural one. 
That's a natural okay. one. Natural one. So that's another 15 points of necrotic damage, and you see that the the damage, like you can see that that damage from the synaptic static, some of it heals up um, from that as it strikes oh. you. Uh, yes. you. Are you unconscious? No, but I'm looking very unwell. Very, looking very unwell. Um, yeah, this thing kind very of, the first unwell. blow Tiangwu manages to parry, but the second one catches you in the side. And again, that same thing that happened a century, this numbing, like it's draining the life force out of you. As this blade connects, you see these like thin, almost like red vines that are embedded in the blade, like begin sucking away the life force from you. Sentry. Sounds like my All marriage. right, I will. <laughs> I'll give it a go. I'll do the one-two smackaroo again and see if I can <laughs> land a hit on this dude. <laughs> you okay there, Trot? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't think Kim is. <laughs> Was she ever? 13 for the first one. Not enough. Jeez, Even with the slow. Hit this guy. 16 for the second one. Oh, oh no. I can't hit this guy. <laughs> He's right there, please! He's the size of a building! <laughs> He's right there! It's an epic yeah. clash. Just smack, smack, ping, ping, ping. Um, <sighs> no, none of your attacks are getting through. I'm sorry, mate. Feel it's bad. fine, I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying! I believe in you, I believe in you. <laughs> Anything else? Any bonus actions? Any movement? Oh, I'm... Mm, I can't move without disengaging, so I'm, I'm just gonna have to... You, you yeah. can go around him. Yeah. Yeah, you could reposition, but you'd have to stay within five feet of him. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll stay here. I will stay right. here. Lucius. Okay. Like I did before, I'm going to use a fourth level spell to give me four sorcery points as a bonus action first. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to cast a level five chromatic orb, seeing that Nova is in trouble uh, mm -hmm. on that stalker boy. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Ding dong. I love it. Chromatic orb is going to be a... 21 to hit. 21 hits. I didn't even need to use the points to seek it. Sweet, that's why yeah. I did that. And it's not uh, a, it's not a um, dexterity same through, so you can't use evasion. That's so, just yeah. me hitting. 78. Yep. On 78. The way. Oh my god. That's 25 uh, on them. And <laughs> yeah, the, the kind of ball of power, kind of the ball of energy strikes into its chest. You see it like splash all over it. Plus 11. Dichromancy. Uh, plus another 11 from Dichromancy. You rolled, uh, you rolled two ones in that uh, as well. Did I? Another two? In that 25. Where? Oh, yeah. So two more yeah. on top of that, please. Yeah, two more on top of that. Yeah, you see this, this you know, Thank strike you. hits the stalker and it does stagger back. Um, a heavy, heavy blow. Looks like it, you know, did significant damage to it. Still still standing. Still looks in fighting form, but uh, definitely kind of also staggers it for a moment. And its eye power. kind of twitches and looks up towards you, but it's still also aware of the threat of Nova in front of it. Um, I'm over it. Briefly chirp to the other three. Uh, sorry to intrude. Uh, have you finished with that one yet? Nova's in a bit of a pickle over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, as Lucius says that, those of you around the commander, there is now three of you around it within five feet, and you see these like veins of oh, energy yeah. strike out. Uh, all three of you take ten necrotic damage, and you see him heal up um, from that damage as it absorbs life from you. Hey, that's rude. Um, That's not his fun. turn. Don't do that. Um, hmm. Yeah, he's just going to make an attack against. Oh boy. Um, three. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, Sentry's the one he hates the most right now, so we'll make an attack against Sentry. Uh -oh. 18. Here we go. No hit. <laughs> <laughs> Both blades kind of <laughs> smash against each other, sparks flying. Um, as it kind of, uh, yeah, this this battle continues. And because he's still slowed, I will make another wisdom saving throw. Oh, still slowed. Um, that's it. Can't really move. It's just nice. standing there. That's tanking slow. At this point. Held strong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, he'd be attacking twice every round, keep yeah. in mind, without that slow. So that's, that's, new to pre him. Pre that's prevented a ton of damage. Yeah, yeah he um, nasty. However, does get all of his legendary actions back. And we go to Ayla. I hit him again, please. Sure. Um, uh, um, math, 30 to hit that one. That will hit. Even against his high defenses, yep. The 30 still. I don't think Ayla misses anymore. I don't think it's physically possible I have a for really Ayla to high, miss. I, I, I can. It's just if I roll really, really low, 
but yeah, I have a plus 13. 13. Yeah. Yeah. Striking. So unless you're rolling um, sub that's... nine, you're probably going to hit. Yeah. Uh, so... 18 damage. Sorry, my brain malfunctioned a little it, bit there. That's fine. It's hot. Um, 18 points of damage, yeah. So all you can see that some of that healing, some of the, the damage that's been repaired, you smash into it and it begins breaking away again. Uh, 26 to hit on the second one. 26. Uh, that will hit. Uh, ooh, full damage. Um, 21. 21 points. On the hammer. And then a dex save. Minus two. Uh, 23 is still enough. It's going to be half. 17. 17, so halved would be 8. 8. Yeah. You know, all these blows, three of you now surrounding this figure, trying to land these blows or using spells and whatnot, and yeah, just still seems to be stood in the middle of it all all in fighting strength. Um, end of your turn, Ayla? Uh, yeah. It's going to make a legendary action to make an attack against... No, in fact, actually, this guy's because he's a commander. He knows military tactics. He'll call out and and basically command the other the stalker to attack again. Uh, finish what you're doing. Come aid me, uh, Nova. With advantage. That's twenty-four. Yeah. Yep. I mean, well, again, you could get a twenty. You know. <laughs> uh, are you out? Are you unconscious? Well, it depends. Uh, talk, talk to me. Tell me about it. All right, make is, a con save, please. Is it two attacks that you're? Is it two attacks that you're rolling, or one attack? Just one with advantage. with advantage. One with advantage. Okay. Um, well, how much damage did you do? Sorry. Uh, Thirty. Okay, so I'm gonna go save. down, but yep. I. So I'm gonna go down, but I have my name in the book of fun names. Okay. So, so you come back at one hit point. I come back on one. Do, okay. do I still need to make a con save on that? Yes. So you make the con save. More Normally I wouldn't care because the damage is there. This time I care because he can heal whatever damage. He, if you fail, he'll heal a certain amount of damage from that. Um, but that happens before the Tomb of Levistus does. So it's important to do. Oh, wait. No, actually, yeah, I have Tomb of Levistus. So I'm not even going to put that in the book, to be honest. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, the book or two, although, whichever no. one you want to use. Yeah, so on a short rest... So after you take damage, no, because the the damage that would activate Tomb of Vistus would kill me. So, um, right. okay. so, so I'll have to use the take the initial damage, but the Book of Secrets uh, brings me back to one. Make a con save, which is yeah. a 18, 19, 20, 21 points. Cool. Uh, yeah, not that's fine. Points, so it wouldn't have knocked you down so anyway, but you would have come back after the damage, but he doesn't heal any damage is the more important thing from that. Okay. So he does strike you, you kind of waver, and then you, Tiangong kind of glows, you feel the book um, kind of uh, radiate power, and this life force once again kind of like <laughs> brings you back to life as Tiangong almost like kind of, um, you know, shocks you back to health kind of as this power surges through the blade and book. Um, and you just uh, feel that kind of similar voice like, over Vija, you are injured, and then you kind of snap back to reality. Um, oh, as you say, however, <laughs> no, you what does however. the book say? Right, sorry to be annoying. What does the book say? Is it that you mm -hmm. go to zero and then you come back, or is it that you just go to one hit point instead? I am just panic scrolling now, more for the concentration. Where is it? So you're gonna make it a con you're gonna have to make um, back to the tone that again in a minute, anyway. Grimoire, you know, the thing. Sh no, it's not that. Mir no, it's not that. Where is it? Gift of th gift of the protectors. With your permission, you can write a name in the book up to five names because I leveled up, so I can do five names now. And when, when any creature whose name is on the page is reduced to zero hit points, it is not but not killed outright. The creature magically drops to one hit point instead. So I didn't instead, go unconscious. Right. That's the important yep. thing. You didn't go unconscious. You do need to make another concentration check, DC fifteen, because um, you took thirty damage. DC fifteen. Um, I've got um, advantage on this because uh, I'm a warcaster. warcaster. Nice. Uh, 16 is my highest. 16, that's enough, just by barely. You managed to retain concentration of the slow spell. Um, so does that book uh, bypass injury checks? Yes, because she never went to zero. No! She, she I never... would have gone to zero, but instead oh, goes to oh, yep. hate that book. Uh, um, Nova <laughs> you're done. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm just wondering. You see if this stalker's Levistus... looking at you like you should be dead. Why are you not dead? I should be dead, and I probably am going to be very dead plot in a armor. second. Uh, yeah, very literal plot, plot armor. Um, 
I probably can't use Tomb of the Lewis Disc without damaging myself, can I? And if I damage myself, I'm gonna die. Um, I'm... But Lucius is right behind me, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And I don't want Lucius to get attacked. Yeah, he's <sighs> throwaway, and he's like a Kodak. Yeah. He is, yeah. It's a Kodak moment. Thousands of elves. Loads of them. <laughs> a new one. A younger model. I'm gonna. Mm. There's a point, Quell, you're next, yeah. oh. and then it's the Stalker. Yeah, and then sorry. It's I know I'm holding this back. Uh, I am going to do something very silly and. Uh, I just I don't know whether or not to attack or if I want to leave. If I so if I cast a portal arcane gate in front of me and zip away, <clears throat> would he get an opportunity of attack on me? I want to cast a portal in between us, with Let the back facing look. him and the front facing me. Because it's only open on one one area, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's I think that's going to be the thing that changes this. So it's it creates more where can you cast open. it? And you Choose it. two points on the ground that you can see. Yeah. Oh. Right. One within ten feet of me. All right. It is so you would have to cast it next so. to you. So because he's next to you, Nova, you can't actually cast it in front of him because um, the spell would fail if you try and create it in a, in a space occupied by a creature. So you'd have to create it next and to I you. Feel like and moving through it would. Give and also, an yes, this isn't a. So me. you moving into the portal is still movement. Um, Okay. It's not necessarily like a misty step, which doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. Yeah, you have to enter the portal, which is a movement. In I would say case... that he probably wouldn't. I'd say that I would certainly give you a hefty bonus to your armor class if you did, <clears> if he did make an opportunity attack. I'm going to cast a Theralness. And, okay, um, that works too. Because <laughs> to now you point. are a ghost. So Nova just, to I, everybody yeah. else, Nova vanishes. Like Nova just turns invisible, basically. Uh, to Nova, the world becomes a shadowy gray uh, replicant of itself. Um, you can see sort of outlines and shapes, but it all is like mist. It's like everything is made of smoke and mist. Um, you see it all appear around you. The creature does seem to look around like, hmm, strange, cannot find target. Mm. Uh, but yeah, otherwise he's uh, rendered uh, out of action. End of turn, Nova? And then I'll move away. Yeah, I'll move sure. away. Yep. Oh, why is it so weird to me? I don't know. Something really creepy about it. I think it's because I stand completely still. Um, anyway, that's the end of the episode. Uh, again, like I said, a bit abrupt, but the episode will continue next week uh, as normal on Sunday, live streamed and in podcast and VOD during the week as usual. So the combat will continue there. Uh, sorry if it was a bit weird. Nova cast Ethereal-ness, and I think it destroyed Trot's computer and house and entire road. So I blame Nova, really. Never cast Ethereal-ness ever again. Noted. There you go. Thanks, everyone. Uh, see you. See you next week.